What is up guys, Moritz here from Section Store. Today we're gonna be having a look at our second upselling section. We included, I already uploaded a video to the first one. You can always check that out on our channel, but we have a different one with a little bit of a different design and it has the same use case as well. You can use it for your Shopify store to increase your conversion rate and also shift some focus on other products and even give customers the option to get like little discounts if they pair it with other products. But I probably suggest we just jump right into it and head on over to the Shopify App Store. If you haven't installed the section store already, you can do it right here. Find it underneath that and add the app. After you successfully done that, we're going to head on over to the Shopify admin area where we're going to start the app right here. So you're just going to look on the left bottom corner underneath apps and section store. Easy as that. Head on over to sections. And with the help of our little search bar right here, we can easily find the upsell section. It's going to be that one. For the sake of this tutorial, I already downloaded it, but in your case, it's going to be a one-time charge of $9. There are no hidden subscription tiers or anything. So that means if you buy it once, you're going to own it forever. Sweet. After we successfully done that, head on over to the home area, scroll a little bit down. I own a couple of sections in your case. It's hopefully going to be a bit more overlooking. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to add the section to our theme. It's the upsell and cross sell section added to the Don Lie theme. And then in the next step, you're going to simply open up your theme editor right here. Don Lie theme, easy as that. Head on over to it. I have it opened up already. There you can see I installed it right here. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to get rid of it real quick so I can proper show you how you're going to include it to your store. Let's save it up real quick. Change is saved. Should disappear any second. Perfect. Ready for a fresh start. All the way down here. And then add the section. Type in SS. Upsell and cross. Two. Perfect. There we have it. And to actually see some products right here, we have to add one first. Select a product right here. Let's go for that little signal plate right here. And the text underneath, which you can see in a second. Let's let it reload real quick so we can have a look at it. Whole thing should be right here. Perfect. Already loaded up. We can change the promo text of the whole thing. And when you want to de uh, when you want to see what you actually customized on it, you have to always save it up. Then it's going to reload and you're going to see all your customization changes. So let's pump it up to 30%. Going to be really generous right here. Also make the picture a little bit bigger so it's easier for people to actually see it. And if there are different variants of that whole thing, you can also enable the variant drop down and people will be seeing it in like different colors or whatever you like putting up on your Shopify store. Let's save it up. Perfect. You can also add several products right here, but I'd say we just keep it simple and leave it to one. So I can show you a couple more customization options you can do to the whole thing. Click upsell one. You can change the HTML here. Also add a little shadow box to the whole thing. So the contrast is a little bit better. You can see it right here. We can change the padding inside, vertical and horizontally. So the whole thing has a little bit more brief, uh, a little bit more room to brief. Change the heading. Check this out. Change the heading size as well. And the font weight. Let's drop it down a bit. And let's say your Corporate identity color is orange. We're going to select that one for the sake of this tutorial. Also change the background color. Go a little bit more gray. I'm going to save it up real quick so we can see what changes we've done already. Perfect. There you can see it. Change the background color. Heading of this. Font weight has been changed as well. We can change the title. I'm actually happy with a little bit more of a gray tone right here. There you can also select of the if the page is going to get refreshed after you added the thing to your cart. You can also change the text instead of add. You can, for example, do buy or like whatever you prefer 
or add to your shopping list. Also add to cart font size. That is also changeable font inside here. Maybe make it a bit smaller, change the background. Let's do a green so we get some proper focus on that whole thing and pump up the border radius of the little buy button and the promo tax is also changeable. And the last thing we can also change is the variant font size. All right, sweet. Let's save it up so we can see what has been done right here. It's not looking that pretty. I have to uh, agree on that, but I think you kind of get what type of customizations we can do to the whole thing. What you can also do is you can, uh, you can also include it on the cart checkout. So if you click on cart, I added this one right here already, but I'm just going to open up the Dawn light theme view. And we can see if we click on catalog on any product, you have it right here. And if we're going to add this to our cart and then view the cart, actually, we're going to see it has been added here as well. And that's pretty much that. So you have two different options where you can implement that upsell and cross-selling section from Shopify. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I hope you found that useful. If there are any questions, always feel free to reach out to me or Daniel in the YouTube comment section. And peace out. Have a good one, guys, and fun with this section.